Hi everyone, this video is for people that want to try doing a paper-based animation. Maybe you don't have access to an iPhone or an iPad, or maybe you just want to have a go. It would be really good if we had a few different options. So maybe you had a go using the, uh, the iPad, but you maybe you also had a, a practice using paper. So what you need for this lesson is you need some A4 paper or card, whatever you have at home. This can be recycled paper or just paper from um, your printer. You will also need a felt tip pen and a pair of scissors. So what you need to do first of all is you need to take your sheet of A4 paper and you need to split it into smaller sections and they need to be equally sized. So all I have done is just quartered the paper and put that um, into a pile. Now what you're going to do is you're going to do the same process with your layers and your frames, except your frames are going to be different sheets of paper. So you want to draw a circle in the top left hand corner. You want to then put that frame underneath the next page to create that shadow that we were talking about in video one. So you can create your second circle. And you're going to continue to do this until you have used up all your sheets of paper and your ball has bounced off the bottom and back up to the right hand side corner. Okay, once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to reorder your sheets of paper in reverse. So you want to start layering them up on top of each other in the order that you drew them in. So to test if your animation works, you want to hold all the pieces together in your hand and flick quite quickly through the paper to see if your ball will bounce off the bottom and up to the top. This might take you a few practices. Cause... Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. So what I'd like you to do now is if you do have a paper-based animation, get somebody to take a video of it and you can upload that to Google Classroom for your teacher to see. Good luck everyone!